Yo, tell me that you loaned the money without telling me that you loaned the money. Here's a fun fact about Britain for you. There are only three times in the year where you wake up in the morning so hot that you need to have a shower before work. I, I, I love those days. And today's one of those days. I'm from Brazil, so heatness is happiness, so yeah. No, this is not fake news. I am having a cold shower in Britain. Not this guy. What are you saying, G's? Welcome to Swear Down, yo. Today we're gonna to be talking about five TV shows, yo, that I wish I could watch for the first time again. As a matter of fact, if you haven't yet seen these TV shows, I am so jealous of you because it means you get to fall in love with the characters once again, and I have already seen it. So right off the bat, yo, TV show number one has got to be Game of Thrones. Like that first season, you know, there is never going to be something as great as that. Like you would literally fall in love with the characters, make sure Big Ben's on the shot. You would fall in love with the characters and then be like, right, they're dead now. So if you have never seen Game of Thrones, yo, one, I envy you, and two, just, just get watching it right now. Sometime in 95, summertime in of October, wish that for the night, father remains sober. Can you tell these shades belong to my girlfriend? I hope not. So what actually inspired me to make this video guys is because essentially I'm a rapper, yeah? Procrastinate the rapper out here. And I've got some new songs coming out. And I was just thinking, yo, I was listening to it. I was like, man, these songs are sick. And I was just thinking like, how lucky are you? Like how lucky are you that you get to hear it for the first time? Anyway, we're late for work. I need to do something before I go to work and we need to make this and I need to cycle to work. So let's go. So something's happening in the Brazilian embassy. A bunch of people in there. I, I don't know what's going on, but I'm Brazilian, so I have an interest. I've never been to London. These bikes right here, you can only take like 30 minute trip essentially for free. And I need to dock my bike, undock my bike, and continue with the journey so I don't have to pay extra fees. Should I make a video, yo, dedicated how these cycles work? I think I should. Let me know if I should. Be to yourself, stay to yourself, trust nobody. Trust nobody. Ever. Say what you want to say about the Jubilee, but you can't deny the fact, yo, that it's got the city one looking good, and two, yo, it's got the city looking unified for real, G, which is, you know, never a bad thing. Although you should not try to go on Oxford Street and vlog at the same time. Dangerous stuff, guys. Right guys, we're gonna carry on with the list. Very soon we got number two coming up, but before that, I need to do something else. The reason why I'm called Procrastinate the Rapper is because I procrastinate a lot, like a lot. I promised this girl um, from New Zealand, she actually works in that coffee shop there. And I, and I made a promise to her, cause she's from New Zealand, she's never had the J12 before. And I said to her, yo, I'm gonna bring this to you so you can try it. And I said that two months ago and I have not done it yet. I got the J tools in the bag. If you want full context of what is happening, watch this vlog in here right now. You'll understand it. Come back next week. Give me a review. Do you not want me to see? Do you want to watch me try it? Yeah, we can do it now if you want. Yeah. So this is that my friend from the coffee shop that I keep talking about. She's never had a day to roll and it's going to be happening for the first time. I came here yesterday and it went here. Oh yeah, I know. I did. Just my child. And QB tries a day to roll. Did you shake it? Yeah. Yeah. And that is the definition of being polite. Now, <laughs> I don't think it was her favourite drink in the world, but at least she didn't say it, she didn't hate it. So, I'll take that. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Oh uh, no! The verdict is she likes it, but honestly, I think she'd just be nice. But anyway, option number two when it comes to TV shows. Now this is not technically a TV show because manga is not a TV show, but if I could rewatch something again, it would have to be Naruto. And not Naruto Shippuden, definitely not Boruto, but I'm talking about Naruto 
when he was a young kid and he had to come up from nowhere and fight and go to tails foxes beast and whatnot and so if you have never seen naruto yo i am so jealous of you because that gara the rock lee fight bro i cried it was a fight but i cried naruto to me is that sort of shows that like on the surface yes it's about the fighting and about the manga and all of that but it's so much more about just like development of a person you know in the beginning he's got nothing nobody hates him and it's essentially a man's journey from being this person that no one likes and everybody rejects into this person that like everyone looks up to and everyone wants to be involved with also you may have realized that in the beginning of this video i was wearing a white top and now i am wearing this black top the reason for that is essentially because Nat wasn't at the coffee shop yesterday so that's why I am wearing a black top today so yesterday was Thursday, today's Friday and um, oh yeah, now we've got TV show number 3 La Casa de Papel I have been living in the UK for a while but I've never actually been inside one of these so I thought it would be cool to do it here now, I am a little bit biased when it comes to La Casa de Papel because one, I'm Spanish, well, I've got a Spanish passport and two, I literally wrote a song called Money Heist that is basically about, like, money heist. So, yes, I am a little bit biased, but I personally think that, like, the show has a really cool storyline and, like, it takes, like, the idea of robbing, like, very different because it's, like, it's one thing robbing against people, it's one thing robbing against, like, very rich individual people, but I feel like when you rob against the government, it's like, yeah, it's kind of like, it's a good thing, right? <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> So yeah, this is the third show that um, if I had given the choice, I would watch again for the first time. And I definitely 100% need to go back to work right now. For this kind of a plan, we will need an inside man. But on Sunday inside, we do not live with empty hands. Before I die again, gonna commit a money high. And just like that, we are finished with work. Now before I tell you number four, we need to talk about this problem that is happening in Oxford Circus, y'all. It's actually appalling. Now call me old fashioned, yeah, but I come from a time that if you're walking on the street right here, if you came to Oxford Street to do your shopping, <laughs> happens. <laughs> if you came to Oxford Circus to do your shopping, bro, you were like flexing. And it's so sad, yo, that places like that, they used to be back in the day like this, honestly, like people used to like come here to this place just so you could go to these shops. And like, if it wasn't that shop, it was this other shop. And now people just come here, sweet shops, like, what is up with that? And now, yo, this entire street, all the way from Tottenham, all the way going to Hyde Park, is just covered with these annoying, annoying candy shops. And I'm just like, dude. Many times in life, something which was once great gets touched by people and then it's crap. And that brings me to the fourth TV show. And that show would have to be Black Mirror. Now, I'm not talking about season three, four, and six when the Yanks and Netflix touched it. I'm talking about first season on channel four, one season one, two, three. Man, those episodes were so like, so real. Like a lot of the things that were said on the show at the time was like, whoa, this is never gonna happen. If you watch it today, only 10 years after, it's gonna be like, huh, yeah, I can see where that's coming from. Anyway, my Gs, with that, now we have the final and fifth show was in between How I Met Your Mother, Two and a Half Men, and Friends. Now, all of these shows on their own, man, they're great. And I'm a sitcom ho, which means that if I'm watching a TV show, I, I want to laugh. That that's my priority. Now, like I said, any of these three could take my number one spot. But because I have seen the show, I guess, three times back to back to back, it's going to have to be... By the way, I'm aware I'm in Oxford Circus dancing like a clown, but I've realized that in life, you can do whatever you want and people just don't really care as long as it's not affecting them. No one is affected, no one cares. Subscribe to the channel and make sure you give Procrastinate the Rapper some love and I'll see you in the next one, my G's.